Alright guys, I'm in another movie theater. I think this is Regal Cinema 19 or something like that. This is in Lincoln Hall. Um, I'm here to watch the third and final, I guess, movie of Halloween. I've seen Halloween that came out 2018. I've seen Halloween Kills that came out last year in 2021. And now I'm watching Halloween Ends. Um, I thought the first Halloween that came out in 2018 was actually really good. And it was... Uh, I thought it was just like a good like ending, you know, because there's been, I actually watched all the Halloween movies last year from the first one, even to the Rob Zombie movies and um, even to like the worst one, which was like, I would say Halloween Resurrection. I've watched all of them and then watched Halloween Kills too. So now I'm watching Halloween Ends. Per personally, I feel like the Halloween first one, again, in 2018 was a good movie because it felt like it ended on a good note they or well, i don't want to spoil the movie but they sort of trapped like michael myers in this like in this like dungeon and, we, and, the, and the house was on fire so i was like okay michael myers can't escape from this but they wanted to make more money they apparently was really successful so then they were like oh this had a sequel so now they had halloween kills and halloween kills just felt like it was a pointless movie just an add-on movie that didn't really progress the story in any way when it comes to Laurie Struthers or Jamie Lee Curtis and Michael Myers. And now Halloween ends, which is going to be the finale of the whole series, or at least for the ones that came out in the 2010s and 2020, is now, it's going to be, I guess, the trilogy ending. And how the second one, or Halloween Kills, ended, it felt like there was nothing that was going to compel me to watch Halloween ends but at the same time if I already watched the first two I'm like already invested so I'm going to just at least see the ending and see how it goes I already saw a lot of reviews um, from IMDB or just watching like YouTube videos reviewing it and they say it's pretty uh, mediocre to bad and apparently I was my movie starts at 11:25, and it's already 11:28, so I'm just going to try to get this real quick what do I think is going to happen my before thoughts on what's going to happen in Halloween ends. Yeah, I mean, this is going to be a typical Halloween movie. I think it's going to be similar to Halloween Kills. Michael Myers is just going to randomly kill people. <laughs> just randomly kill people and then go back to his home. And then Laurie, and then they have a final, final battle with Laurie Struthers, you know, Jamie Lee Curtis. And I don't know. I don't know how he's going to, she's, she's going to kill him. Maybe, I don't know. It has, maybe it's going to be some like, real big explosion i don't know he she drops a grenade put the grenade in his pocket and he explodes I, it has to be something ridiculous because it can't just be like a shotgun to the head because apparently it, especially in hollywood kills they were shooting his ass with like pistols and shotguns and shit and he was still just taking them shits like it was nothing so i don't know uh i it probably has to be something really extra i'm gonna say extravagant but over the top where it's like some type of explosion happens, you know, she pours gasoline on something and then lights a match and then the, <laughs> the entire place explodes or something ridiculous. But again, it's already, I was supposed to, my show starts at 11.25, it's like 11.29, so I'm going to end it right here and then give you my afterthoughts and also give spoilers. Bye. Alright, so I just finished watching Halloween Ends and I have a lot of things to say. I'm gonna try not to spoil the movie. I'm gonna have a section where I'm talking about my thoughts, but without really talking about all the thing, particular things in the movie. And then I'm just gonna spoil the movie because I watched all three. I watched Halloween, Halloween Kills, and now I finished watching Halloween Games. So first off, I wanna say, I wanna confirm, all the different reviews that people have been put on the internet saying it was bad, this shit was... <laughs> It would, I want to say it's bad, but I can definitely say it's not good. And one of the main reasons why it's not good is because <laughs> for some reason in the third movie, they made a mission to add a new character within the movie that had nothing, that he was not in the first movie or in the, in the 2018 movie, he was not in the 2021 movie, but they added him in the third movie and they made him the, like the focal point throughout the whole movie. Not only that, he has this weird spiritual psychic connection 
with Michael Myers. For some reason, they do like a double team, like they team up and kill people and shit. And it's like, wait, why? Why the fuck is Michael Myers uh, looking at him as like some type of, I don't know, partner in crime or some shit, and start killing with him <laughs> on these random, just going to random people's houses and start killing people? And I'm like, what is going on? And the thing about this new character that they added is like in the beginning of the movie something tragic happens where somebody i'm not gonna i'm not trying not to spoil somebody something tragic happens and they blame him and now he's like an outcast in the uh in his small town or whatever so throughout this whole time like people are treating him like crap trash and stuff like that and then over time he acted accidentally kills somebody and then this like triggers something where now he's on a killing spree and just kills all the little all the assholes in the movie which then just transforms into him having this like murderous serial killer i don't know like motivation to start killing more and more people that treated him badly and then ultimately try to kill laurie struthers and another thing about the movies I mean, that is like the whole premise of the movie. And also within the movie, like Laurie Struthers, who's like the, obviously the main character, is like peeping or uh, like observing this new character. I don't want to say his name. Well, you're going to know if you actually watch the movie. And he, she feels like a disturbance in the force for some reason. She can determine if he has evil in him and she predicts that he is going to turn just like Michael Myers turned into an evil serial killing psychopath and toward the end it gets super stupid but yeah man it's just throughout the whole movie I'm just like watching the movie and like what the fuck is going on thinking to myself what the fuck is going on in this movie I was the only one at, and I watched this at 11.25 a.m. so nobody really watches movies at this time Especially rated R or horror movies, but I just wanted to get this out the way because I knew it was going to be, you know, I wanted to do other things outside of uh, just watching the movie. But man, it was just, it was so weird and just confusing and disappointing. <laughs> um, if I had to give, if I had to review the movie, give it out one out of ten. I seen people give the movie like five out of ten or whatever. I have to give this movie like. I guess I'll give it like a, I guess I will give it a five. I want to say 4.8 to a five because it's like, there are some cool things that happened in the movie, but overall, like when they folk made the whole movie about this one character who had no, what's the word I'm looking for? Who had no connections with the previous movies, but now they're just like, oh, let's just add this new character in. And now he has some type of empathy and some type of psychic connection with the Michael Myers, and then they go on killing sprees together. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> this is so stupid. So, so that's my thoughts on the movie. It's, I mean, I felt like, I, I felt like Halloween Kills really killed any motivation to even watch to even have a third movie because it ended on such a note that it made Michael Myers seem like like this indomitable force that cannot be killed and he's just this pure evil that you know even if tons of people um uh, you know surround him and beat him with like sticks and shoot him with 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 pistols he cannot be taken down he just gets back up and just just goes killing and it's like what that's that's so ridiculous and at the same time i have to get into spoilers and it's already five minutes of me ranting. I gotta get into spoilers about this movie. So, the thing about the movie that's so stupid, the person I was talking about who has this, who is pre pretty much like this new character um, that's inserted into Halloween Ends, his name is Corey. Basically what happens to this guy is like he was a babysitter um, and he accidentally killed the, the baby he was sitting because like the kid locked him into like an attic, I believe. And then he was like freaking out and then he kicked the door down and which actually pushed the the kid off the ledge of like a two-story or three-story house and then he falls to his death the kid falls to his death immediately like immediately before the parents open the door 
um, after returning from like some Halloween party. So now people are presenting him or seeing him as like a killer, like he intended to kill a kid. So now he's like an, an anathema. He's like this outcast within the town. And I guess people are treating him badly. So therefore, like in the movie, like, I don't know, there was this scenario where <laughs> He gets like punked out by like because so like he's like around like in his 20s or something like that And he's getting punked out by like these like high school band <laughs> Nerds or some shit like they wanted to get a pack of beer and then it, You know he denied he said he didn't want to help him out But then they just start punking his ass mind you this guy's like a grown-ass man getting punked out by like these high school band nerds who are like <laughs> <laughs> it's not like these guys are like roided up and like super strong and just overbearing and no these guys were like small ass band nerds punking out this grown ass man and shit ultimately he kills all of them once he goes super rogue and here's nothing else so stupid in the movie so he has like this weird relationship with Michael Myers for some reason like when all movies when Michael Myers meets anything meets any civilian or anything like that he kills them but in this particular movie, when he meets Corey, you know, the guy who accidentally killed his uh, baby or the kid, he decides not to kill him. Matter of fact, he just leaves him alone or some shit. And for some reason, this like relationship flourishes where they do some type of like a uh, like co-op killing or something. They went to this like doctor's house and then they just started killing like the doctor and the nurse and then the, like some other shit happened and it's like what the fuck i have never seen this this is so weird and there's no really good explanation why he's gonna do some co-op killing with some kid that he just met that day and another thing that was so stupid about this fucking movie <laughs> is the fact that look uh, allison which is laurie struthers granddaughter falls in love with this guy like on the first day like he, he cut his hand um um he cut his hand because like these band nerds were like picking on him and he fell and you know he, he, he just hurt himself so then he had to go to the hospital Lori Struthers brings him to the hospital where Allison her granddaughter starts treating his hand or whatever oh man starts treating his hand and for some reason they just become infatuated with each other and throughout the whole movie it's like they fall in love in less than like three days and they want to run off together and shit and it's like this is so stupid this is so fucking stupid and then <laughs> like i don't know he should just start becoming a psychopath and, and he's like i'm i'm not gonna let you i'm not gonna let you take allison from me so then he just goes he, he steals michael Ma uh, michael myers mask puts it on and then goes on a killing spree and just kills all the people who treat him badly throughout the hour and 55 minute movie which had to do with like a dj some people didn't even like I don't know there was like this one guy who's just like like the, when i talk about the doctor there's like this scene in scenario in the movie where he kills like a doctor and a nurse and i'm thinking to myself like they didn't even fuck with this guy how did he even know where they lived and then he just he just starts murdering the shit out of him and it's like what the fuck is this <laughs> this is what i feel about the movie i always felt this about halloween movies or just like movie franchises in general like when movie franchises are very popular like they are iconic I feel like if you want to bring the movie back, you should always do a reboot, right? You shouldn't bring the old cast back like Lori Struthers. You should just cast a new character. Just like, because I watched, um, technically I have watched all the Halloween movies that ever existed. And there was a Rob Zombie reboot that came out in like the mid 2000s, I believe. You should do that. You should, if you want to bring Halloween back, you want to bring Leatherface back, you want to bring, you know, any other iconic, like Nightmare on Elm Street back, just do a reboot. Or you have a fresh new cast of characters, you know, you have a new Laurie Struthers, and you just do it for this modern age. But the thing is, they wanted to bring back Jamie Lee Curtis, and she was, was going to still be uh, uh, Laurie Struthers, and then she wanted, to, they wanted to have her have, have like a kid and a granddaughter and all this other type of crap. And it was interesting within the 2018 one, but when they tried to make a sequel to the 2018 one, which was Halloween Kills, it just felt completely useless because throughout the movie, like it, there was no, the story didn't move in a direction where it's like, oh my god, I can't wait till I see the, the, the trilogy, the final, the final movie. It was like everything that 
it's like they threw everything at him in the Halloween Kills movie, and he just shrugged it off in terms of, you know, this mob trying to kill Michael Myers. And once you find out that he just like easily kills, dispatches all the people who try to kill him, there's like no motivation, no. It was just it was just filled with more questions. I had I was filled with more questions as, as to like how is he able to do all this? Is this guy like really a human being, or is he like? You know this evil incarnate like they try to pre present him to be it's just all stupid but the point i'm trying to make is yeah halloween ends is bad <laughs> halloween is as bad i read a comment on my video where they were asking oh are you going to see black adam and i'm like no i don't want to see black adam it's not a horror movie i wanted to celebrate halloween or you know october to see horror movies so the first off that's not a horror movie and secondly i'm not really into um the dwayne the rock johnson movies i think a lot of them are just like sort of boring so that's why i'm not gonna do it um but yeah man this movie's sort of booty uh but if you want to watch it that's cool i give it a five out of ten maybe four point i see a 4.8 because i was really disappointed with this movie that's it then